Hello everyone, welcome to bloggingmypassion.com. In this video, I would like to show you the control panel. Once you register for a hosting space with any company, uh, you will get access to the control panel. And in this video, uh, I would like to show you the control panel for Bluehost. Uh, Bluehost uh, is a hosting company where you can buy a hosting space in order to start your blog or site and uh, I have been using Bluehost, uh, Bluehost uh, for a long time and I am very much satisfied with that and uh, in this video I will show you the control panel. So this is Bluehost.com homepage and uh, you know once you get uh, once you register for a hosting space uh, with Bluehost.com uh, you will get access to the control panel you get a username and a password uh, once you have this username and password click on the login uh, on the top right corner it will go to the login page where uh, you have to enter the domain or username your control uh, panel domain name uh, or the username here so enter the domain name here i am entering my domain name here and enter the password here click on submit okay so now you are logged in so close this one and uh, if you see here is the c panel here c panel means control panel click on this one okay so now you are logged into control panel so here i will explain you the different things on the left hand side you will see some of the things and the, on the right hand side you will see some of the things on the left hand side this is an advertisement and uh, you'll, uh, you will you have a search bar here so using the search bar you can, you can find uh, anything on this control panel for example i want to find uh, something like e email so see here like it is showing only email accounts so which is uh, uh, which is matching with the search words that we have entered so like that like using the search box you can uh, find any any of the options that have on this control panel page the second the second one is frequently accessed areas so here this area shows the frequently accessed areas that i have accessed earlier that means file manager is the one that i frequently use email accounts is the one that i frequently use to view my emails and php my admin is the one that i frequently use to check the uh, different databases and mysql databases is the one that i frequently use to create different databases and directory passwords are the ones that i use uh, you know uh, to create passwords for uh, different uh, directories so this area shows the frequently accessed areas by you and the next one is stats here stats means uh, you know it shows the main domain name username uh, home directory login from so all these things it will show here and uh, this is the stats area okay on the right hand side the first one is the mail option so using the mail options if you see there are like uh, you know different different options here the main ones that we use here are email accounts so using this email accounts you can create like you know uh, different different email accounts for your uh, uh, blog so this is the main one we, we use and webmail is the one where you can you view, view the e emails that you receive uh, to your inbox so there are like you know also other things that we normally uh, don't use but these two are the main uh, important ones the next one is website builders so website builders means using these options you can build websites automatically for example wordpress simple scripts so these can be used to build word wordpress blocks automatically which i'll be going to you show you in the next video so normally the option that i use here is the simple scripts mojo marketplace mojo marketplace is a third party company where like it offers uh, different themes and templates and also logos and also plugins and uh, extensions but uh, to use these uh, options like you know you need to pay some money to mojo marketplace so this is a third party company next one is the file management file management is the one that we normally use uh, in this one so in the file management we have different options here the major one that we the main one that we use is the file manager so using the file manager you can log into your server and see what are the different files that are there so this is the major one that we use here the next one is the domain management so using the domain management and the domain management you have like you know domain manager here so if you have more than one blog or if you want to buy a new domain uh, using this option using domain manager you can uh, you know uh, you can buy or you can manage your existing domains and the next one is uh, you know the transfer domain if you have 
a blog or website uh, on any different company uh, or a different uh, hosting company and uh, if you want to transfer that domain name from that hosting company to Bluehost you can do this one through this option at the same time using this option you can also transfer the domain on Bluehost to a different company also so using this option you can like you know transfer in transfer out the domain names next one is uh, upgrades normally like you know we don't uh, use this one uh, here like you know there are different options here we don't normally use this one and uh, professional services also like you know these are all the third party services uh, like you know the ppc campaigns site doctor and all these are like you know different uh, the third party companies actually so we don't normally use this one and next one is a promotional one where uh, we have uh, you know different different uh, promotional things here like hundred dollars adwords twitter fifty dollars ad credit facebook fifty dollars credit so you can use like you know these uh, things for promoting your uh, your uh, your blog or news site next one is the statistics here so, so here you like you know you can view the statistics for your new site or blog here so um, the first thing you have to do is you have to choose a stats here there are there are like you know, around i think uh, three different stats are available you can choose any of those stats and using the latest visitors you can uh, uh, find the latest visitors i think you know around in the last 12 hours or 24 24 hours you can see the visitors who visited your blog next one is security security uh, under security the major one that we use normally is the directory password so directory password is normally used in order to avoid access to public to a particular directory this one normally i use it when i am developing a new blog and i don't want the public to view it immediately uh, whenever i want to release it only like you know when the blog is finished then i will protect it with a directory password so that until the blog is finished and until i remove the password the outside public cannot view this uh, view that particular website so this is the directory password can be used for that purposes and uh, other things i have never uh, actually used them next one is the database tools the database under database tools we have mysql database databases where uh, you know uh, you can create new databases or you can delete existing databases using this option and you have php my admin also this is the one uh, uh, we normally use to you know uh, go to different uh, databases and uh, verify the information there so these two are the main ones that we use under database tools so the remaining things are softwares and services preferences advanced and partners we don't normally use them but uh, if you have like you know time like you can go through these options and check what they are so this is all about uh, control panel thank you very much for viewing this video please subscribe to my youtube channel blogging my passion you can find my channel on youtube at youtube.com slash user slash blogging my passion thank you very much